Alright guys, I am so sorry for changing the plan again. Zach couldn't come this weekend, uh, so that so we couldn't do we couldn't make any videos together talking about things, so I guess I'm gonna have to do all the talking myself. And uh, as you can tell, I uh, had a temporary change temporarily change my position because the the room that I used to the, the room that I usually work in is being used right now, so uh, so this will have to do for today this week at least um, so there's a window right in front of me where people can see my face oh hey look there's some inbred guy staring at me with all eyes listen guys I'm sorry I'm doing this again the last time I did this this fucking half hour long rant thing I promised you that it wasn't gonna happen again uh, I could separate these into like six or seven videos but that would be kind of repetitive and it would actually take me longer because I would have to upload them each individually uh, through the, throughout the course of like a week so I, I don't want to do that I just want to lay everything out in one video and just get everything over with um, so in this video I cannot promise this won't happen again because I, I usually don't upload videos sporadically I usually only upload like once a week so I just want to want to get a few things off my chest or uh, more specifically seven things off my chest not including the shirt the first thing I want to talk about is what I've been doing lately because like I said I only record once a week and uh, this has been a really boring uh, month for me or for my channel more specifically very boring month there's not really anything going on besides the release of Halo 5 which I don't have an Xbox One, so I can't do anything about that. And uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate is coming out in a few days, but I my hopes are very low for it. I mean, Assassin's Creed kind of sucks now. Unity was terrible. Rogue was good, but uh, you know, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. No one's talking about it. It's probably not even going to sell well, so no one really cares about it anymore. I I might get it eventually. Um, if it, you know, it, I might get it eventually if I if I hear that it's not too buggy, because that that's what AC and Unity's problem was. It was way too buggy, um, <clears throat> so I might. There's no multiplayer, which is a good thing because my two favorite Assassin's Creed games are don't have multiplayer. Two and Rogue, they didn't have multiplayer, and I was able to get platinum in both of them. Well, Assassin's Creed Two I played on 360, and I was able to get 1000G and then platinum on rogue so you know i might get unit i might get yeah i might get syndicate i played unity it was like the worst game ever made but anyway i think that stands for itself all right uh what i've been doing i've been just finishing all the games i have right now i'm not really buying anything per se uh so since this, since this is a really boring month for me there's not really anything going on in october i figured this would be a good time for me to finish as many games as possible and sell as many games as possible that i want to sell before fallout 4 comes out not that i haven't already bought it i pre-ordered it but still uh just to you know you know what i mean just clear the air and clear the way you know i have less things to do um, which kind of leads me to my second thing because uh, my, my second thing I want to talk about is reviews, game reviews and fuck them fuck game reviews because I, I've been playing two games recently one of them is Murdered Soul Suspect okay, and the other is, is the Bureau XCOM Declassified both these games got really mixed reviews we're talking like fives and sixes and I've been having a fucking blast with them. And these are two games that I've already, I've, I've always been. I'm stuttering. Why, am I, why the fuck am I stuttering? It must be this room. Anyway, these are two games that I'm really interested in. That I've always been interested in. Murdered Soul Suspect is like a combination of Silent Hill, exploration-wise, and L.A. Noir, puzzle-wise. So it's like... A mix of two games that I really like, and then, and then you have the Bureau XCOM Declassified, which is basically like a Mass Effect clone in terms of like dialogue branches and combat. It's basically like a Mass Effect game 
Those games got 9s and 10s, but for some reason, the Bureau X Combat Classified got, like, fucking 5s and 6s, even though there's, like, hardly anything wrong with it. I mean, maybe the story is a little slow, but there's no bugs in it. There's nothing. And it's not a short game at all. So, I'm, like, sitting here, what the fuck? Now, the opposite, the complete opposite has just happened recently. I picked up a game that I was never interested in called The Witcher 2 Wild Hunt. It got fantastic reviews, so I got it thinking that, oh, well, the reviews say it's great, only to find out that I fucking hate it when I actually play it. Okay, the game is way too fucking hard, even on easy. Uh, you can't use potions in combat for some fucking retarded reason. There's no fast travel. It's technically not an open world game because each, each portion of the world map is like based on, like, the chapter that you're in, and you miss out on, like, on, uh, unfinished side quests because you can't go back to them. And I think it, it was a fucking horrible game. I only played it for a few hours, and I couldn't fucking stand it. I, I got stuck on a boss, and that, that was just, like, the, the straw that broke the camel's back for me. I'm like... Whoa. So, for now on, if there's a game that I'm interested in, I'm gonna buy it. I don't care what the fuck the reviews say. Because if I look at a YouTube video of the game I'm interested in, and I really like what I see, chances are I'm going to like it. So, no more buying based on reviews. Uh, I'll still look at the reviews, but I'm not going to let the reviews actually influence what I'm doing or what I'm buying. So, you know, just fuck the reviews. And I, I, heard, I heard The Witcher 3 was a massive improvement over The Witcher 2. And I might get it eventually after I read the synopsis of both The Witcher 1 and 2 online. So that I won't be completely fucking lost in The Witcher 3. Alright? So fuck reviews. Fuck game reviews. Because the only opinion that matters is your own. And in that case, my own. So. Fuck reviews. Number 3. It's about my YouTube channel, or about well, pretty much any YouTube channel, is that views are more important than subscribers. Okay, this is going to be a long one. When people look at a YouTube channel and they only see that you only have like 100 or so subscribers, which I only have like 115 subscribers, they go like, oh hey, he must be that not important. Wrong. Because just because you don't have that many subscribers doesn't mean that you haven't you don't have that many reviews like I have 115 subscribers but I also have like 118,000 total views and uh, wow I just had a massive brain fart my mind is fucking going cuckoo guys I'm going fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs anyway where was I I looked at my analytics I went in and ch check to see how many of those views were from people who were signed in as a subscriber as mine. You want to know what the number was? Out of that 180,000, not 180,000, 118,000 total views. You want to know what that number was? 900, 970, guys. It was 970 out of 118,000 total views. This means that it's possible that up to 116,000 different people have seen one of my videos. So, I don't consider myself that unpopular or that unfamous, if such a word exists. Um, like, you don't need to be signed in in order to watch YouTube videos. I mean, I, I used to do it all the time. I think I think I said this uh, like a year ago too, is that uh, you don't you don't need to be a subscriber to be a fan of someone. Subscribers, in my opinion, are kind of like pointless because I know I know that there are hundreds of people who follow me on Facebook. I know that there are hundreds of people who watch my my videos. So I mean, not all at once, of course, because my videos only get like twenty views each. I mean, like cumulatively over my 300 or so videos. So yeah, views are more important than subscribers. And if you, if you talk about it from a money perspective, 
uh, it's based on how many views you get for your ad revenue or whatever, which I don't do. I don't have, I have a YouTube partnership. I just don't have a YouTube AdSense account. But uh, you get money from views. You don't get money from the number of subscribers you have. That's just stupid, right? So, never mind the subscriber count. What matters is your views. And if you, as long as you have good views, you're y'all set. And don't don't discourage yourself if you're not getting that many subscribers like me uh, in my situation. All right, number four. Number four. PS4 got a price drop. Finally. Um, it's now $350, the same price as the Xbox One, um, which is funny because even when it was at $400, it was still kicking the shit out of the Xbox One in terms of sales. So, I don't know what Xbox One will have up its sleeve now because that was kind of like the main selling point of the Xbox One was that it was cheaper than the PS4. Um, so, I don't know. However, I mean, they, they have the whole backwards compatibility thing going on, which can help it a lot, but uh, assuming most people who have an Xbox One ha also have an Xbox 360 and have played most Xbox 360 games that they want to play by the time they reach the Xbox One, it might not make much of a difference. Just saying. You know, it'd be like if the PS4 was backwards compatible. It wouldn't make a fucking difference to me, because I have a PS3. And I have a PS2, so all the more reason why a PS4 wouldn't need backwards compatibility is if you already have those previous consoles. So, yeah. Number five. Number five. Halo five. Number five. <laughs> yeah, I saved Halo five as the fifth one, right? Halo five is the first Halo to be rated T. Or the first major entry in the Halo series to be rated T. I think I think Spartan Assault is rated T. That doesn't count because that game sucked. Anyway, Halo Five. Again, uh, I previously mentioned this in my ESRB failing video a long time ago uh, about how certain games get rated M that don't really deserve M because all they have is a little bit of blood and some violence, and no language, and no nudity, and no drugs. Well, Halo is definitely one of those series where all you see is gun violence and a little bit of blood. And I'm glad Halo 5 is only rated T now. Um, hopefully future Halo games will be like that because, you know, it, it doesn't make any difference to me because I'm, I'm over eight, I'm, I'm over 17, sorry. Not over 18. Over 17. I'm 22 right now, but I'm, you know, over 17. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to a fucking GameStop clerk. Uh, so yeah, Halo 5 is rated T. That's not not too shocking, but it's it's interesting the way the way the ESRB are now becoming more tolerable. Hopefully, thanks to me. Uh, number six. Okay, number six. Well, these last two ones are things that are kind of like in my opinion. Number six. DLC DLC needs price cuts over time. All right, um, like when you have a video game that goes down in price, retail goes from sixty to fifty to forty to twenty, etc. Um, the DLC that that belongs to that game should also get price cuts. Like if you have like a if a game starts off with like a thirty dollar season pass as the game was sixty dollars. Well then, if a game goes down to twenty dollars, shouldn't the season pass go down to like ten dollars? You know, over time, because it'd be weird paying more for a season pass for a game than it would be to pay for a game itself, like two years after it came out. You know, um, I think DLC needs more price cuts. Um, a good example would probably be um, the Dragon Age. Origins Awakening expansion pack. You can buy it for like ten dollars at GameStop or whatever. Maybe even as low as five dollars. And last I checked, it was still it was still thirty nine ninety nine, the same price it was when it first came out. Why do they not 
why don't they cut prices for expansions over time? They, 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 I mean, it, people stop buying them. I mean, the sales go down digitally as well. So why can't they cut the prices for digital releases? Same thing for like digital, you know, uh, I'm not talking about Steam. Okay, I, I don't you know. I know Steam has a lot of good sales, but I'm talking about mainly PlayStation Store and Xbox Live uh, games on demand. Where games stay at like fifty nine ninety nine for the longest time, even if you get even if you can get it for like twenty to thirty dollars at a retail shop, for some reason digitally it's like fifty nine ninety nine. Like why, you know? Like come on, like get to the fucking program, you know? Cut that shit. Not 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 physically cut that shit, but you know, it's a metaphor, okay? I don't mean to stink up the place. And lastly, number seven. This one is going to shock certain people, and it's probably going to also insult others as well, especially the older gamers. Arcades. Weren't, weren't arcades microtransactions too? I mean, I know it all depended on how good you were. Say that if you could beat an arcade game within one continue, that's great. But for most people, they're not going to be skilled enough. And they're going to have to keep paying. Keep paying and keep paying with no guarantee that they're going to win. So that they can try to win. Isn't that what microtransactions are all about? I, I, I just suddenly realized this. Like, microtransactions may have always been here in video games. It just hasn't become that obvious until now. I think arcades were if you think about it, kind of microtransactions. Maybe not so much the ones that don't end, like that are infinite, that get you like high scores like Pac-Man or Galaga or Donkey Kong or anything, but the ones the ones like Contra and, you know, games where that they have an ending. But then you need more than just a quarter or fifty cents to even get past the rough spot. And that that is kind of a it kind of sounds like a microtransaction to me. And even though I hate the idea of microtransactions, even though they're bullshit, I I have to admit, like we we've kind of I I almost feel like gamers, the gaming industry loves to hate now. Uh, like back then, way back then, we were more tolerable of crap and disappointment and overhype and microtransactions, and I think now that, I, I don't know, I, th I think I think we've become spoiled to the point where we kind of don't appreciate what we're given uh, in terms of, like, prices for games and what you get out of them, and, you know, back then you could pay $40 for a one-hour Streets of Rage game, and if you were to pay $40 for a one-hour game, one game now, like Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, well, people are disappointed, and they were disappointed, and uh, it, it's, I, I think it's really weird how things work that way, when you don't, you don't realize something until, until something obvious hits you, and, and then you look back, and you're like, wait a minute, so, yeah, that was the biggest one for me, our arcades are kind of microtransactions, and then the, the people who own the arcade machines, just fucking open that machine up with a key and take your money. Without any effort on their part. So, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, so yeah, the, I, I'm glad that this video was nowhere near as long as my other rant video uh, earlier this year, which was like 35 minutes long. I'm glad this one was only like 19 minutes long. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I just needed to clear some things out, out of my head again. I was going insane. I had so much information I wanted to tell you. But at the same time, I didn't want to wait for them to each individually be on YouTube. Spur, you know, over time. I just wanted them out of my fucking head as soon as possible. Alright, guys. Well, next week... Next week is... Nothing. Except for Halloween. 
I, I might have a little Halloween special up. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Alright, guys. I gotta get back to doing something. I really... I don't know what to do. I gotta figure out what to do. What to do with my life. I, I just don't know what the fuck to do, you know? Just don't know what to do. See ya! The Gamer Gods! See ya!